So we are on physics part three. This is example question four. Please watch these videos in the order they're intended to be watched in. Visit my website, www.goprocaribbean.com. At that website, you will find in the main navigational menu, dive theory. Physics part three is what you're looking for and the study notes, questions, etc can be found there so you, you can follow the questions in a sensible order. So it's another density question, uh, the, one of eight that are in these notes, all focusing on the different ways these questions can be asked, the different wordings that could possibly throw you and confuse you. I'm trying to prove to you that this simple one, two, three approach will work however awkwardly the question is worded. Uh, under step one of density questions, we focus on the question and look at what depth is the diver right now, according to the question. They are at 40 meters. What is the pressure at 40 meters? It is five atmospheres. Now step two, density questions, we always divide. That's how we show a proportional change. So we're going to use the slash symbol for our division symbol. Uh, it's also obviously something you're familiar with as being used as a fraction symbol, which is why it's sometimes quite useful to use the slash symbol in these questions. Finally, step three, what depth are we comparing 40 meters to? Well, in this question, it's the surface. The pressure at the surface is one atmosphere. So you end up with the calculation five divided by one. Well, you shouldn't really need a calculator to know that 5 divided by 1 is 5. So, at 40 meters, the density of the air would be 5 times as much. Answer C. So, don't forget, you can find many more practice questions, videos, quizzes, study guides at the website goprocaribbean.com like me on facebook gopro caribbean and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can get news when i post my new videos